job half done as you can see these were the state of my RG500 carbs um, my engines waiting to be installed so uh, I started cleaning these as you see they're all out of adjustments so that'll have to be sorted but I've um, got them to come up to uh, this sort of clean cleanliness I'm happy with that it's not not I didn't sandblast them or anything just uh, give them a good clean down I'll get them uh, everything inside after 10 years of sitting around they were really clean inside and only one little sticky float valve and that's it okay so I thought I'd give an update on my progress it's getting a bit exciting for me now in the fact that uh, I've been using this little machine uh, this ultrasonic machine um, as you see there's the mark um, and I think I've got these carbs as good as they'll get so that's not bad I'm quite happy with it um, let's just look at uh, this one this you know never been that clean not in 30 years um, I can never remember being that clean when I was about what was I 18 riding this thing last time didn't give a monkey's about uh, clean car bowls the things still went anyway one little point that um i'm trying to solve is that i've been using my ultrasonic uh, cleaner and um it's been working quite well on these carbs but I, I actually used um a gunk solution not in the heat or anything not for the within the cleaner but it's actually made this carb really sort of gray so i'm gonna try um some different solution on that tomorrow i've got some baking soda coming and i'll um i'll use that to uh, try and get a bit more gloss on that one okay so here's my engine that i'm waiting to put in and as you can see it's still wrapped and it's just waiting to um just waiting to get the carbs done and i'll start fitting it and um i am thinking about getting a new gearbox while i'm there but uh this is it so um it's stay three tuned last time before it was uh overhauled it was running about 110 bhp so it'll be interesting what it's running now i uh, can't wait to get it fitted um so what have i been buying i've got some uh some gearbox oil um ready to fill the, the box up obviously i bought a new um i was trying to use this um sandblaster the other day and uh it kept cutting out so i've bought an ex i've, I've been onto the company and um, I bought uh, an extension, rather than an extension, electric cable, which is problematic. I've actually got the uh, the hose, okay? And that's to, um, essentially, I'm, I'm using various bits of tooling. I bought a load of sanders and stuff, because I'm going to get all this um, all tidied up. And I'm going to get some new end cans for these. These were really cool, these swore bricks when it was on um 20 years ago whatever it was yeah 19 about 1990 i bought these um and as you see they're a bit rough but i've been onto swore bricks they're going to send me some new end cans in carbon i think and i'll get these all uh painted up and that's good and then the the goodie bag so um not only are my carbs going to look pretty clean um here's all the the, the bits in them obviously and then I bought maybe the last on the planet of these. Uh, I can't get any more of these. These genuine um, float gaskets. Let's put. I'm running out of space in this garage. I have to give it a clean up. And then I've got, uh, as per my previous post, I've got these little um, gross valves. I think is how you pronounce them. I've got my uh, various jets. Um, been chatting to a, a guy. Um, that's on the forum he says these 240s are too big and he should know because he's got more rgs than i've had hot dinners so he says go 230s i've got my little um i can't believe it but i've whilst taking one engine out and putting another one in i think i've lost these little um oil cable things these plastic things so i bought a couple of those um now yeah i can't I, I don't know if they weren't on there i can't remember not seeing them i would have noticed that I would have thought but anyway they they were available and then because the these gaskets are going to be hard to come by i bought some gasket paper and i'm going to um 
try my luck at actually making my own and then i bought all these different types of uh sanding disc i've got i've got a, i've got a whole collection of sanders down here i got like i said i got this thing on the drill um which was quite effective and i've got belt sanders and god knows how many other sanders down there. i've tried them all the the this one's the most effective all these different sanding discs i'm going to give it all a go and then uh finally the uh, cherry of the cake cherry on top of the cake is these filters were ready and so um these are these are pretty cool and i'm gonna um obviously put them on and then we'll uh we'll be good to go finally i've ordered some um chain and sprockets and some suspension so I'll, I'll show that when that arrives but uh that's where we're at with my project um hope uh hope to um get it all up and running very soon <laughs>